I'm inviting to the stage our next speaker, Emir Halikov. And this phone, and this phone, Emir Halikov. Thank you. It's funny you said it like uh, I'm going to be here with my phone and my phone's phone whose name is Emir Halikov. It's funny. Okay. So today I will introduce you to the biggest uh, prankster and practical joker that I know. And it's my phone. Here it is. So uh, it just uh, it just pranks me in every way. It's, uh, it's, I think it's desire is to make my life miserable. It starts with the little things, you know, uh, like for example, if I'm taking a photo with my camera like this, so I'm taking a photo, and then I need to, to see it. I'm, I open the gallery, and of course the photo will be flipped horizontally. And it, it just just small part of the screen that, that I can see. So I try to flip the screen, uh, I just try to turn the phone, and it flips the screen just as I turn the phone. So now I have to do this weird dance, like just get, show me the picture. And yeah, this doesn't work. And uh, sometimes I think that this smarty pants smartphone is smarter than me because it knows when to show me notifications and when to hide them. Like uh, if, for example, if my boss sends me a, an extremely urgent task saying to me, okay, you need to do that ASAP. Of course, I get the notification on my phone only five hours later when the uh, all of the deadlines have passed and I know that for sure my boss will be mad at me <laughs> in the future. But if it's a random ad saying to me in capital letters that I can buy Malochny cheese for only 199.99 a kilo, then it's 4th of July with notifications on my phone. And I know that my phone can also do magic tricks. It, it's magic, it can do magic tricks. Like if I go out and take, take my phone fully charged with me and I don't use it like at all, then, and I take it out after one hour and it's abracadabra hocus pocus 20% of charge. Where did the other 80% go? I mean, the energy has to go somewhere, right? Uh, so did my phone do a space jump or something and I didn't notice? Why, why is that? I mean, at <laughs> least uh, if you're losing energy, at least warm up my leg. I mean, it's cold outside. Uh, so, okay, one time my phone pranked me so hard that it just didn't <coughs> start. It just died. So with all of my notes, my pictures, my passwords to everything. So, and uh, during that time I was uh, on my internship to Italy and I was running out of money. So the only thing that I had to do is to go to the nearest store and buy the cheapest phone possible with the bare minimum of functions that I need to survive. And yeah, it was, yeah, it was this phone. And then go back to Moscow and uh, buy me, pick, carefully pick, and buy me a new phone, a good phone, not this one, the, the cheap one. So I bought this phone. <laughs> and this guy was just chilling in my drawer all, all, all this time. And two months later, I decided just for kicks to try to start it. And it just turned on fine. Like nothing wrong with it. Uh, like I didn't have to buy, buy all of these. But after it was after two months of failed attempts to start it, and everything was fine. But that's not the biggest prank that my phone did on me. The biggest one and the most messed up one that it did on me is when I was talking on my phone to a friend of mine. So I was just asking something, and my phone somehow collaborated with my cheek and used it to go back from the phone call open my contacts and dial a random person. No, not a random person. A person to whom I haven't spoken to in five years. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, uh, yeah, of course, I noticed that as soon as I noticed that, I just press cancel, cancel, cancel. No, no, not, not, this, not this guy, no. 
uh, before it got through. So I was like, Phew. and then that person called me back. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to tell her, oh, hi, Kate, so my cheek dialed you by, acci <laughs> by accident. Have a good day, bye. No, I have to do small talk now, right? So I pick up the phone and say, hi, Kate. I haven't talked to you for a while. I mean, how, uh, so what, what have you been up to these last five years? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm at the la my life has been kind of rough lately. I've been married two times, and uh, I did <laughs> not take that last divorce well, so I'm seeing a shrink right now. And uh, what else? What else is new? So I'm saving up for my second mortgage. Oh, by the way, can you lend me some money? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think you might have a question for me now. Uh, it's it might go like this. Emil, why on planet Earth do you s keep using this phone even though it, uh, in spite of all of the things it did for you, it did to you, it did, uh, it did against you, in spite of you? And the answer is really, I don't know. It just makes my life interesting, more interesting. That's it. One minute for judges. Inviting to the stage our next speaker, Natalia Bakanova. <laughs> Lastminute.com, lastminute.com, Natalia Bakanova. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Um, how many of you do love to postpone things and tasks? For the last minute, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. And uh, normally people do think, and the call to is the kind of procrastination, and the thing that you need to overcome it. But I personally think that there are a lot of advantages in such lastminute.com approach. And why? Uh, at school already, I discovered that the uh, most efficient way to uh, write your essay is in the last night before the, the deadline. And why? Because uh, you need to wait for the muse, for inspiration, and the muse uh, normally comes uh, during nights and uh, when you feel more kind of a little bit nervous. And uh, all, most of my good essays I uh, wrote in the night before the deadline. At university, I uh, built up on this approach and started to prepare to some exams in the last night. And it also had good um, um, had benefits because uh, I had more chances not to forget what I read in the very last night before the exam. Yeah. And um, at work. Well, every marketer knows that sometimes last minute uh, presentations are exceptionally powerful and bright. And yeah, I uh, followed this approach as well. And of course, uh, during trips uh, in traveling, everybody knows what is uh, lastminute.com. 
Yeah? Everybody yeah, knows. Yeah, this is actually uh, an internet <coughs> portal where you can order uh, a very good offer uh, for a very cheap price. Uh, like traveling to Thailand, uh, we ordered five stars hotel, like 30% uh, of cost. It was boutique hotel, but uh, there was a nuance. It located uh, in a pretty decent uh, beach, but uh, in overall it was uh, really, really nice. And like uh, with this beach, uh, I was through for myself. And of course, you can guess that uh, I started to prepare the speech like last night. And uh, actually, why? Uh, like for two weeks, I collected for inspiration, uh, watching for movies, talking to friends, and so on. And uh, to yesterday in the morning, um, I, I, I decided that I need to start preparation. But then I discovered that there is a um, sale on uh, AliExpress. Uh, the sale is coming and I, I needed to uh, buy some stuff for myself. One hour later, um, I started uh, to think about the speech again. And um, then I, I remembered that I need to, to make this like nail desi design. <laughs> Well, I did this, I uh, said, okay, uh, I'm almost ready for the presentations. And then um, I uh, remembered that I need to uh, read one thing, one article. I completed it. Um, at, at seven o'clock, I was, uh, I completed pl uh, plenty of things. Uh, I uh, read this book. I ordered, uh, did some shopping, and uh, I uh, made my nails looking well but I had no idea about the speech and suddenly magic happened adrenaline raised up and uh, energy just I felt a lot of lots of energy and ideas started to come come to my mind and very quickly um, I yeah picked up the idea and uh, that, that's the idea of the speech. Well, actually, in the conclusion, I would like to say that uh, lastminute.com approach sometimes has lots of advantages. Uh, it saves our time because uh, you uh, become more focused, uh, get more energy, and uh, new ideas come and um, sometimes it makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. One minute for judges.
minutes are over. Do we need extra time, then? Yeah, we need extra time. Okay, let's do one, one more minute. Dennis, have you received all the ballots? Not yet. I need a little more time. Mm. It may be table topics. No, not yet. <laughs> oh. no. Wait a second. Just wait a second. Uh, don't maybe, maybe you collect it. Maybe everything is ready. You're not supposed to even touch it. Yet. <laughs> I like the yet. <laughs> okay, do you have all the ballots? Uh, in a moment. In a moment. Okay. Well, even with the counter, you proceed with your, <laughs> with your <laughs> meeting. <laughs> okay, uh, we are done with the contest, and uh, chief judge and counter are going to count votes and understand who is the winner. And before we go to the break, I invite to the stage Diana Albuvi. Yeah, thank you so much, and thank you so much for agreeing to hold this contest for us. Actually, don't go far, <laughs> because you know, today is a special day for Anna, and she chose to still be at our club. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Anna! Oh. I came from World Surfers. It's waiting for you over really? here. Wow. Yes, we have 10 minutes break, guys, so please welcome to, uh, welcome to have the cake. Leave some for Anya, don't forget. <laughs> don't eat it all. Yeah, and don't forget about a small donation for us, as we all were volunteers, so we have no income, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I have also brought some sweets there on the table, <laughs> and I'm happy to be with you on this wonderful day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Давай, давай проверим, записывает или нет. Давай. 
И что? Надо подключиться к, с телефона. Мой почему-то не работает. А. Там а у меня новый телефон, у меня может не подключиться. Сейчас, подожди. Новый уже разбила. <laughs> Первый день, прикинь. Да. 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 Да.